I just had an email from a client who's created a group and they're trying to work out why they can't get any email into it. So groups can be created in one of two ways. One is you can create them so they're just internal to your domain. And secondly, you can create them so somebody from the outside world can send into that group. That's a kind of an internet enabled public to the world group. Firstly, to add a new group, go to groups and then click on create group. You give it a name and an email address and optionally a description. Then you can choose your access level and there's some information there about which uh, uh, access level is allowed. So anyone in the team can post to this. Announcement only is only owners and then restricted is only members. So we're gonna go with team for this one. And importantly, we want to publish this email address to the outside world. So we want anyone on the internet to be able to post the messages. And then I can add users or I can add users as I need. So I'm gonna click create. And then I'll click on manage users. And then I'll type in the email addresses I want people uh, to be members of this group. And when an email comes into this group, it will be distributed to each of those people. Now the client has just told me that they can send email to the group and receive it just fine. But when they try and get other stuff uh, to send it into it, it doesn't work. So let's help, let's have a look at that setup. In the admin console, go to groups and we'll see here we've got a bunch of different groups. You'll see on the right hand side here, there's a column called type and this one says team internet. So that means that's set up for the team and allows posting from the internet. You'll see one here that says team and domain. That one means it's set up for internal and for this domain only. When we go into the group, we can see the information about that group. We can click on here to manage users. We can look at roles and permissions. And this is where it's important to look at what needs to happen in order to enable it for the internet. So we can select the, the access level. So the team says anyone within this domain can post messages and view the members list. If we tick the box underneath it, that allows anyone on the internet to post messages to it. You can also set up your group in a couple of other ways. So only owners of the group can post messages to it and only members uh, can post messages and view the members list. So we've changed that and ticked it, we'll hit save. And then finally, there are aliases on a group as well. So you can add other aliases at your domain for this particular group. Now, if we go back to the groups list, we'll see now that that says team internet. So any emails to this group will now be enabled from outside of this particular domain.